smoky. She's a bit smoky. <laughs> You can have your attention for a moment, please. Uh, we've had a, hand, a set of keys handed in. A set of keys uh, which include a key fob, Jaguar, with a key and two small keys. One perhaps might fit a boot and one fit perhaps an aerial or something with a tag on. Uh, so somebody who's lost a pair of keys, please come down to where the raffle stand is, near where the club van and the red flags are. Thank you. Again, still at Roxall Hall, Coventry. Just run into a very nice British Racing Green Mark 1 XJ6 from 1969. Registered in, North, in Northern England in the historic town of Burnley in Lancashire. This car is absolutely immaculate. And one can imagine back in the day, in the 1970s, some very proud uh, Northern managing director, perhaps of a textile mill, that this would have been his prized possession, his pride and joy. Beautifully kept over the years. Note the, note the, note the white trim on the wheels, a very classical look. A beautiful original car in a British uh, Jaguar racing colour. Immaculate leather work. Very early example though, um, in fact, it was only the year before they were launched, and the event we're here at today marked in the United Kingdom the 50th anniversary of the XJ6. So it's fitting to see what perhaps is the oldest of its genre here today. Beautiful vehicle. Recommend. Here, completed on a long wheelbase chassis, so there's more room in the back for the, uh, for the owner of the car to be driven to his office by his chauffeur and the individual. Rear seating is another feature carried through on many of the top of the range Dana models over the years. So, if you want to see a bad plot, I think it's the only one here today. Come and have a look at it. It's on the exhibit number 10 on the uh, on the running field of all the display cars. Let's see if we can find something else. A fantastic array of some lovely XT40s here. We've been on much underrated cars for many years, and we've got a, we've got a majestic here. Well, we're based version. Right, well, talk to the old resident here at the moment, Rob Jenner's here, you start on this car. Tell us about this Majestic, Rob. It's um, a car that was the mayoral car for Leicester Council, or Leicester City Council. Uh, one owner, full written and documented history from day one, totaling £198,000 of bills. That sounds like a Jaguar. And that's why the car went for an electric, hybrid, whatever it was. Um, I can get bears like you used to, can you? <laughs> no, they, uh, they're a bit tighter than uh, they used to be. I bought this car from auction, knew what it was. It's one of only 71 right-hand drive, long wheel V6 C40s. Um, and it's currently owned by a friend of mine in Edinburgh, Paul Keaty. Is he today somewhere? Paul is actually in the bar. Ah, well, it speaks volumes of extra 40 owners, doesn't it? <laughs> Why are you there with? <laughs> yeah, lovely example again. Another rare car coming along with the XJ's here. In the uh, first row of XJ40s. It's one with a unit jack flag on the top. And uh, he's a different long wheelbase. Please come along with it. So, very rare car indeed. It's a long wheelbase. And the back condition. Oh, what have we got here then? Yeah, the V12 uh, XJ40 is a beautiful car. I used to have one of these. And again, just like we were talking about earlier, they're a very different animal to the six cylinder cars. I, I love mine, I did 90,000 miles in it. This one has won British Concours before. And uh, perhaps Rod can tell us a bit about the current owner, what he's done with it. Well, Andy's spent uh, a fortune on this car. He's gone through it top to bottom, front to back, inside and out. And as Nigel says, it's all home done. Um, a multi, multi award winning car. If Andy's about, Andy Brooks, you can come and pop the bonnet for us just to see what a real work of art looks like. I actually own one of these cars myself, and keeping it clean under the bonnet is, um, how can you put it, a nightmare. Andy's wonderful at keeping this car in tip top condition. Doesn't do anything else, I don't think. Yeah, V12, great animal. Uh, I tell you what, get a V12 XJ40, you might as well want to follow this again. Ah, the man's coming, because I think he's at the concourse with yet another one of his cars he's trying to keep clean. Trying being the operative word. 
Andy Bruce, uh, Staffordshire. Andy, how long have you had this car? June, too long. Yeah, too long. June 15, I bought this car. Off an elder lady in West Country. It was a 60th birthday party present. No, no, the man in Stoke has got it. <laughs> no, no, no. What did you have to do to it? Half a clean. All the suspension will be rebuilt to stand in. It's done 800 miles in five years. So, 34,000 now. Pay up, pay up. What are we doing? No, 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 no. Somebody, somebody's making, somebody's making an offer here. It looks like, it looks like 80 pounds. I'll give you 100 for it. I'll give you 100 for it. No, 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 no. Okay, 120. Every time I have a deal with Rob Jenner, I'm ill. <laughs> I got um I got a magazine on the internet um, and it's got a show for the phone. The old car, you remember the old car? Um, mm. Yeah, I got um I got a magazine on the internet um, and it's got a show for the phone. The old car, you remember the old car? How long have you had it? About three years now. What made you buy it? Oh, I did another jank. <laughs> another jank? What were the others? I've got a 3.2 XDI board and I'm rebuilding a flat floor retard. Very nice, very nice. And how do you find the next? On eBay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get some good cars on eBay? Yeah, you can occasionally, yes. I've got the two XDI 40s, I've got them from eBay. Wonderful. I'm good either. Yeah, the 2.9 litre engine is interesting because it's literally half a V12 power unit and actually built at the Radford factory alongside the V12 units. But it only stayed in production until 1981 and replaced by the 3.2 litre version. And uh, the car here, this green car, have a look at it, G453 TTV, is apparently literally as it was built, un unrestored, unmolested. Unmolested as it would come out of the factory. As it came out of the factory. Looks too good for the factory actually. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, very good. Thanks for bringing it on. Thank you. Right, I'm going to go back to my duties and find out what's happening next in the arena. Matt, so you do need to with your cars. You we with your cars for the concourse judging to commence, please. Judging will be coming around very shortly. We've also got Mrs. Bruce commencing her first motoring talk on days gone by when females first started driving. She'll be handling that in the small marquee area and the bottom of the field near where the club stand is. Look for the club stand with the club van. The red flags. This is Bruce. We're starting a first talk there at 11 a.m. this morning until 11:30. 11 o'clock also in the uh, courtyard area. Andrew Search will be giving his talk about brochures, regular publications, and automobiling. That's 11 o'clock also in the courtyard, which is down by the main house on the right-hand side. Look for the SNG Barrett's banner. And it's in the top of the Good morning. Uh, here we are at in um, in the West Midlands of England at the largest UK Jaguar car show of the year. It's a place called Roxall Hall near Coventry. Fantastic place, fantastic car all over the country. But we have some foreign visitors. Some have come a great distance. I have just run into a gentleman who tells me he's come all the way from Moscow? Yes. From Moscow, from Moscow with an XJ6, which is very fitting as the occasion here today, in part, is the 50th anniversary of the Jaguar XJ. Tell me about your car, tell me about your journey, sir. Hello, guys. Uh, this is XJ Series 1, 1971. I bought it in the United States in uh, 2013. And then in Russia, it uh, was fully restored. 
in uh, 2014 and uh, after restoration this car ran um, near 10,000 uh, uh, kilometers and from Moscow uh, we drive uh, three days and run uh, 2,000 miles. Wow! 3,000 kilometers for those that have kilometers in their countries as most of our viewers do. That is fantastic. Tell me, why is a Russian interested in Jaguar? Mm, it's an interesting question. <laughs> I don't know. We love this car. Some people love Mercedes, some BMW, and I love Jaguars. I say it's an English gentleman's car. So you own a Mercedes, you own a Cadillac, you're a nasty tycoon. You own this, you're an English gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes. <laughs> Jaguar XJs. Here we have 42 in lime green again. The bonnet, which is currently on the roof of the vehicle, I would hope is put back into place before before circuits of of, of racing tracks begin. We hope that could be action. The organisation is Webster. Clearly. Racing tuned engine, of course. Not your normal XJ6 to commute to work in. Inside, just a sports seat, all the, everything else stripped out to save weight for racing. I saw this come on the trailer earlier. And we have also got somewhere on our tape the arrival of this fine vehicle, of course, not And here we have another XJ dating from about 1971, judging by its registration. This one does have a is registered as street legal a heart tune in London registration. I'll tell you a little about it. It's a, it's a Rob Beer V12 engine, Series 1 XJ racer. It, it was acquired by its driver in 1998. This car won the JEC round at, at uh, Snetterton uh, in 2000 and seven and here we have a racing xj saloon well it seems to be missing its bonnet i think it might well need that in order to go racing but it gives us a chance to see a fantastic highly tuned performance engine which is a, a beautiful <laughs> metallic turquoise color and they call it an xjr 
4 litre supercharged X300. Currently being used in a competition. Not your everyday Jaguar. As indeed is the XJ next to it, which is in a beautiful blue colour. Then the bonnet grill and bonnet would be helpful uh, to add this before we take it on the racetrack. Now this actually is a Jaguar XJ6 4.2. Tall. It's a Class C from 1974, clearly dedicated to racing, powerful Jaguar. One wheeler racing tune engine in position. Just look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, talk about 